Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the... <coughs> sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis yes. is right now? Have no fear, Jim. Of course we know her whereabouts. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormont. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of <coughs> itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can do it by myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well, I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't. Ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. October 5th, 4058. Okay, so now we put the date in. See? Oh, this is very clever. Looks like Gormot is the closest country to the world tree right now. All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its way. Oh, hold on. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, I'm no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? Oh, Tom, I have a good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormoth Titan's bottom. Old friend of Taurus Grumpy Pond. He called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Let's get going. Hi, Tora. The place where this Umon guy lives isn't affected by the cloud sea tides, is it? Hmm? Why, Rex Rex ask? Well, I noticed the cloud sea's been pretty low ever since we went off to save Nia. It's still low, low now, right? I was worrying that depending on the situation, we might be forced to find a different route. Rex has a point. The cloud sea tides can have a marked effect on the areas you are able to traverse. Sometimes the cloud sea may allow you to swim to places that were once out of reach, but equally it can submerge previously reachable areas, halting your progress. Exactly! So I was wondering whether we need to worry about any of that where we're going now. That makes sense. But is no problem. Path to Shipyard of Umon not affected by cloud sea at all. That's good to know. If it was somewhere we could only reach at high tide, we'd have to rest up somewhere until the clouds rise. 
That doesn't sound so bad to me. Frankly, I'd welcome a well-earned rest at an inn while we wait for the tide to change. No offence, Rex, but your helmet isn't always the most comfortable abode. Yes, yes, you can always have a stretch and a lie down next time we visit the inn at Torgoth. For now, though, we go to Shipyard of Umon. You now have the option to take long rests at lodging facilities. This lets you rest until the tides of the Cloud Sea have shifted. If you ever find that your way is blocked due to the shifting tides of the Cloud Sea, then just go back and have a long rest whether you're tired or not. Since the tides of the Cloud Sea change every time you have a long wet rest, it's wise to check the Cloud Sea status in the environmental information display first. Oh, and you should bear in mind that it's not possible to take a long rest at every single lodging facility in all rest. But you can certainly use the one in Torgoth, which is just as well, because Torgoth is quite sensitive to the comings and goings of the Cloud Sea. You can't use the uh, long rest function in uh, Argentum. Also, my name is Dr. Von Crazy, and welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we fought our way out of the uh, Titan battleship and fought Morag. This time, let's make our way to the cloud, cloud seat world tree by finding Umon. To reach Umon, we have to go north quite a ways. I might be able to beat these nose Google, but I'd rather not find out. But this way, we have, if it'll show up, Honeypot Grotto. This is a special area where you can find Melosian honeys. I got five of them there. You'll need a bunch of these for later, so you might as well gather them up now. And get attacked by level 24 nests. Uh, not interested. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, uh, with that duly noted, Over here, we should have a landmark. Right? Great Spine Boundary. It's a nice halfway point between uh, Gormod and Umon's shipyard. It also marks a new map for us. We're on the upper level left instead of the upper level right now. You could have come here earlier, but there was really no reason to. There's not a lot of treasure chests up here, so... Also... If you don't fall off once more... Uh, if you... If you jump up here... You can reach... This spot. I don't think there is much... Here, though, just a couple of collection points. Oh, Moonbeam Bananas. Um, there wasn't much point to going up here. I just wanted to show that you can. And this way, nice little cave, some bonnets. Probably some rocks. Um, you can fight the bonnets if you like. I want to go across this route. Be careful with these. I'll be back. Back on that tree I was shoved off last time, I want to go across here. Try not to get attacked by this Ruger quad wing. Well, I'm dead? I lost? Are you kidding me? Ah. No, no, no! 
on the opposite end of this branch. There's a couple things for us. Collection point. If you can activate this airflow, then you can reach a heart to heart up there. However, I don't think I can do that. <coughs> the common wind blade I got from the unnamed core crystal gave me the boost I needed. And cosmos. so good. I love all of them. <laughs> anyway, with that done with, uh, over crap. Not over here. The other way around. Past this Liger Rogel. Down on this cliff. Treasure trove. <clears throat> Core crystal, so you might as well grab it. I really rather not, but nice. The, that Liger Gogol getting Gogol? Rogel getting in the way. Are you okay? Help! Help! If we don't do something, Norman is going to die. 
Kind of curious, believe we want to look here. We'll sort it out. We find the quest Sir Cross Lovers. <laughs> First off, we've got to take out these Gramble Tyrkin. They're Tyrkin, so they really shouldn't be a problem, but. Uh. There's really nothing special about these guys. I'll probably cut the rest of this fight out unless something interesting happens. Which I really doubt. It's just a bunch of tear can. Oh. No. Oh. Here we have, uh, Poppy and Tora's level 4 special. Get Biter. It deals a bunch of damage. In just a couple hits. What do you mean, Unique Monster Music? That's a problem. Uh, no, I will not fight that. Go away, please. Oh, goodness. No. <laughs> Back where the quest is. Uh, we can talk to Rihanna. Ugh. No more need for worry. Everything sorted out. Thank you so much, but... Norman is... Ugh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Let's just keep going. What are you saying? With those wounds, we could go back to town and... What are you saying? We can't go back. B but... Let's see the details. I guess asking you guys is our best shot. The thing is, we... Our marriage has met with some opposition. Our only option was to elope... So we headed out to Uman, Uman's shipyard. We thought if we could rent a boat, we could leave Gormot behind. That makes sense. In the past, Moradain very clearly eradicated Rihanna's ancestral clan. That's why my da hates all Ardanians with a fiery passion. Not that Norman, or most Ardanians for that matter, had anything to do with that atrocity. And we love each other. Why would he deny our beautiful love? I can see where Rihanna's parents are coming from, but... Eh. Norman, Norman, please stay with us. Please, you have to help him. With Tora on your problem solved in no time. Oh, thank you. First, could you gather some shepherd's purses and don hydrangeas? You'll find an apothecary called Nils in Toragoth. He'll make us a medicine. Nils, he's my brother. He knows about our plan, so he should be happy to help. I'll try to keep Norman stable, but please, hurry! Sorry to put you out like this. Tora can handle this without even making fur of Tora sweaty. I do not doubt it, my furry friend. Guess we're headed back to Torgoth. Just go near the Codewig Inn. And you can find Nils right there. Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm, yes, I am Rhiannon's brother. Has something happened? Let Tara explain. Oh, so he did try to run away in the end. 
I can make medicine no problem. I just wonder if eloping is really the only way. I just want my sister to be happy, of course, but I can't convince myself that running is her best option. Hey, could I ask a favor for you, too? Nia, Poppy very interested to hear details of this. Yeah, me too. Can you give us the lowdown? While I prep the medicine, how about you go to our parents' house and hear them out? I'd go myself, but, well, I can't. I got disinherited. If I showed up, the whole thing might get even more muddled. Ah, does a stubborn old goat. Thick-headed as anything. Now, Ma, on the other hand, less so. But she does generally side with him on everything. Can't just leave you in the lurch here. We'll just sort it out. Thanks. They live in the Grod Residential Zone. Right then. I'll get to it. I should have the medicine ready when you're back. We'll take care of it. Well, you know where the Grod Residential Zone is. We want to jump off this bridge this time. And right here, Karis. Hello, friend. Ah, so you're Rhiannon's friends. Well, do you need something from us? So the thing is... Husband, win. It's terrible. Rhiannon's eloped and... Eloped? Hm. Just leave it. A daughter who would associate with an Ardanian is no daughter of mine. Do you realize you might see never see Rhiannon again? She's already gone, hasn't she? Leave it, I say. Do you think she'll be happy like that, running away from everything she's ever known? Do you not give a damn for your own child's happiness? Quiet! Of course I want her to be happy. But approve of her running around with an Ardanian? Bah! Over my dead body. You know what our Danians did to this land, don't you? It's all in the past. It has nothing to do with the children of today. Even so, I'm not having it. Oh, you stubborn old fool. While Nils went to Moradain to study in medicine, you went and disinherited him, too. But then you still sent Rhiannon on to check on her brother, didn't you? Despite all you say, you do love them. Ha! <laughs> I don't care how you dress it up. I'm not changing my mind. Even if it means never seeing my daughter again, I'll have no regrets. Pig-headed fool. Hmm, this is awkward. What should we do? I've got nothing more to say. Go on, get out. Well, nothing to do here but head back to Nils. Mm, the thing is, Nils... We're back. Hey, welcome back. I just finished with the medicine. So, what'd they say? Let Tori explain. Yeah, I see. Still suffering. Might be because they worry about us, their kids. I really don't know what the right answer is here. Well, the future is a distant and murky thing, and so nobody knows what will be. Ah, uh, no time for this, though, is there? Here, take this medicine to Rhiannon, quickly. She'll know what to do with it. Good luck. Back to Melnath's shoulder area. You brought the medicine? Hear that, Norman? You'll be okay. Thank you. Right then, let's be off. Norman, are you sure you're ready? Yeah, your care and the medicine seem to have worked. Don't overdo it, please. Now... We will have to push ourselves to get to more Ardain. What, is something wrong? You met my mother and mum and dad? Ah, my stupid brother. So, what'd they say then? Say, Norman, we're going back to Torgoth. Huh? If there's a chance of convincing them, we owe it to ourselves to try. I want all the best for you, and running away is not the best. But this might be a ruse designed to lure me back. I really don't think my father will ever budge. What if he tries to keep me from seeing you again? Even if you're right. I don't think you could ever truly be happy, knowing you're making your family worry about you. Norman. Okay, let's head back into town. Thank you, Rhiannon.
No, I'm sorry. Thank you for bringing the message, everyone. We'll give it one last try, just to know we, that we did all we could. Everything okay now? With those two back in Torgoth, we've completed Starcrossed Lovers. If you chose not to tell their her about the parents, then they would go to Morardane and you would get the same rewards but different text. I don't have footage of the other text, so I won't be able to show that, but it might be on screen if I can find it. Anyway, let's head down to Uman's shipyard. To get there, you just have to go uh, west, I think. Yeah, that's west. Down this path until you reach the end of it. While we've got nothing to talk about, I want to thank Chugga Conroy for really just making his videos. I would never have known about Xenoblade Chronicles if he hadn't made his Xenoblade Chronicles series, and it's become my favorite game series of all time. So, I think I owe that to him, at least. Hello! Umon! Umon! Where is Umon? Who is that? Who is noisy while I do my work? Tora, this big surprise. <coughs> long time no see, Uncle Pom. Yes, long time. About oh, one yeah. whole year? Yes, about that. <gasps> you became very big in one year, Tora. Yes, Tora, not okay. little Pom yeah. anymore. And Tora have lots of sidekicks. Race Rex and friends are not Tora's sidekicks. They are real friends, Umon! Rex Rex meets Uncle Pon Umon! He did great research with Grandy Pon. He is great builder of ships! Hello. Greetings. At your service. I see. Tora's friends! Tora has lots of friends! Very good! Tora has become fine, Biggie Pond. <laughs> well, Tora, did you need Uman's help for something? Well, we wanted to borrow a ship from Uncle Pond Uman. A ship? But there are lots of ships in Toragon. Why hike all the way to Bum Bum to see me? Oh, um... Well... Tora ran out of gold. Uh, yes. Tora spend all the gold on artificial blade. Tora flat broke like penniless pancake. <laughs> I, I wanted to go on a little boaty jaunt to uh, a nearby place, but nobody to go on boat. Hmm. I hope Tora can keep track of all these things he's telling. There's no other option. We can hardly tell him what happened in Tora Garth, can we? Yeah, I guess you're right. So long as we get a boat out of this. Artificial blade, eh? Was this what Tora's Grampy Pond was working on? My name is Poppy. Pleased to meet Uncle Pond. Yes! This it! This pretty mighty Tora take after Grampy Pond indeed! Oh, well, uh, how can I refuse Tora now? Tora may use a my ship, but there is problem. What, what is problem? You see, a ship not quite ready just yet. Not much left to do, but work stop because no building parts. That's the only problem. Correct! But that is big problem. Big like sea or mountain. 
You mean all you need is some parts, then you can finish the ship? It's just as you say, friend. So if we go and find the parts, then you'll... Of course! I make ship ready, then you borrow! Thank you! Come on, everyone. Let's go. Yay! Let's go find ship ingredients. Next time, we'll find Uman's ship ingredients. See you then.